Hey guys, Ray, spray wash exterior cleaning. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Um, the other day I did a little video on a uh, sludge sucker uh, pump for a pressure washer. Wanted to expand that uh, a little bit uh, and give a bigger demo. Um, so I'm putting this on YouTube, not just a, a Facebook Live thing. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, this is a pressure washer sump pump or a sludge sucker. Uh, we've got one inch, one and a half inch hose um, here. Uh, it's metal. You've got a hole in there with a zero degree tip turned backwards up there. Uh, there's your three eighths inch male. You could put a quarter inch on here and hook it directly to your wand if you wanted to. We just hook it straight to our ball valves. Uh, I got this particular one from l and uh, Mike Howard up in uh, Savannah, Georgia. I'll drop their website uh, on this here uh, in a little bit uh, for y'all to order. Uh, we have this attached to about uh, 15 foot of, of this crush proof hose. Uh, you can really put, I, I guess, whatever size hose you wanted to. Um, this hose is, is very rigid, very stiff. If you wanted to, you could cut the hose down to maybe five or six foot of this and then put a uh, double nipple and um, from the double nipple go and, and put uh, some, some flat blue hose, uh, flat uh, discharge hose. But if you try to put uh, a flat hose or a soft hose directly to this, uh, it's going to destroy it because it's a a zero degree tip turned backwards, it will punch right through it and you won't get any longevity out of your hose itself. So for the first five foot, you need something rigid on there. Um, I guess you call it a Venturi effect. Whenever you hook your pressure washer up to this, uh, it's going to create a lot of uh, suction. Uh, pretty much if it's big enough to go into that hole, uh, it's going to suck it up. Um, wet mud, sludge, small rocks, trash, any of that just gets sucked up and, and discharged out. Um, and it's great for puddles at the end of driveways. We use these a lot uh, for garages. Um, whenever the drains are backed up or, or it's an uneven floor and we're washing a garage out, uh, you can really um, um, suck out a puddle quick like on these. So um, they call these uh, pressure washer sludge pumps or pressure washer um, sump pumps. Uh, several different names for it. There's several different manufacturers. Like I said, Mike Howard at l &H Industrial up in Savannah, Georgia is where I got this one from. Uh, look for his web address and we're going to go outside and do a live demo to show you exactly how fast this works. Hey guys, um, we got a, a 55 gallon drum here. Uh, good old fashioned secret agent drum from Agent Clean. That's my soaps of choice. Um, rinsing this barrel out, uh, it's filled with water. And uh, I'm using my five and a half gallon a minute uh, 3000 PSI surface cleaner for these purposes. And uh, we'll show you how fast it'll empty this out. So I've got a ball valve on the end of my pressure hose that I'm going to hook this into this male nipple. And I can see that water level dropping there. Here's my discharge. And we are just about done on this. And that is done. You can hear the tone changing in it and the discharge changing. 
All right, I'm back. Uh, we're done with the outside demo. So less than a minute, we uh, displaced 55 gallons of fluid uh, with that pump. So really efficient, uh, really a great tool. Uh, doesn't take up much space at all. Uh, you should have one of those on, on all your rigs. And uh, like I mentioned, you, you can actually go with a flat crush hose as long as you have the rigid hose um, for the first um uh, five or six feet of that so it doesn't puncture it with the zero degree tip that's that's in there. Um, if you get an eight gallon a minute machine it'll actually go a little bit faster. Um, just a great tool to use. Uh, call Mike LNH in Savannah, Georgia. He will get you all hooked up and um, again this is Ray Burke, Spray Wash Exterior Cleaning Tallahassee, Florida. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and wash on.